Greetings to you all out there in the digital world. In the name of Jesus, God bless you. I was on my way to church and the Lord showed me something. I was riding down the street and I passed a cop car and I saw a woman in the cop car. And immediately my mind went back to a time when I was at Starbucks, about to get into the word, work the word. And I saw a cop car pulling out of the drive through and I just felt in my heart, you know what, let me go and buy uh, that cop's drink, that his coffee or whatever it was. And I approached the car and there was a lady sitting in there and I told her what I wanted to do and she began to refuse like, oh no, that's okay, I'm okay. So I was trying to convince her, hey man, I love you, I want to bless you, we're praying for you. And she was resistant and hesitant and after a while she allowed me to buy her drink. Well, I walked away with, I walked away from that thinking to myself, my Lord, and uh, forgot about the incident. Today, the Lord recalled that event to my mind and showed me that I harbored resentment in my heart towards that woman for refusing my act of kindness. And I'm looking at myself like, dag, I didn't even realize it. I didn't even notice it, that this was going on. And uh, it allowed me to see the sut subtility of sin, how subtle sin can be. That was a sinful thing in my heart. It was a thought that took root. I didn't check it. I didn't recognize it. I didn't realize it. Didn't notice it. I didn't see it. And this was a particular time that I, I won't say that I was spiritually dumbed down. I think that, hey, this is something I should have picked up on, but I did not. I didn't pick up on it. So without checking that thought, I suppose that it took root in my heart. And God showed me today that, hey, sin is very subtle. Don't play with sin. Just like there, you walked away and you had sin in your heart. The evil thought of your heart, the bitterness that was in your heart that reacted to that situation. Sin will react in situations that you get yourself in. And he showed me, man, you allowed that bitterness that, that went unchecked and it grew in your heart. And I don't want bitterness in my heart. And I wanna, I wanna tell you out there, my brothers and sisters, be careful with sin. Sin can be very subtle. You can be in sin and not even know it. Your heart is so subtle and deceptive with sin that it can go by unnoticed. It can slip by without you realizing. This is what makes it so important to be in prayer. This is what makes it so important to step into the light. This is why the psalmist said, Lord, search my heart and try my reins. Try me and know me, O oh God. If there be any secret sin in me, God create in me a clean heart and renew a right spirit within me. The Bible says in Genesis chapter 3 verse 1 that the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field. And how many of you know that the serpent was the one that beguiled Eve? The serpent was the one that deceived Eve into sinning. Sin can be subtle. There's also a scripture in Proverbs chapter 7 verse 10. And behold, there met him a woman with the attire of an harlot, subtle of heart. The intent was to deceive and lure in. And it's very subtle and appealing. And sin can often go unnoticed. A sinful thought that goes unchecked will take root and begin to produce the fruit of evil imaginations. And they lead you to do evil things. Brothers and sisters, may I admonish you this morning to be careful don't play with sin. Don't underestimate the subtlety of sin and the craftiness and deceitfulness of your own heart. Just like the Lord showed me in this incident in my life, so it may be with you. I want to urge you as we're approaching the new year that you would go into a season of searching your heart and presenting yourself before the Lord that he might reveal to you everything that is hostile to his will for your life. 
every thought, every imagination that's exalted itself against his word, that you might bring it into captivity. I have taken captive that rebellious thought of resentment. God bless you all. Grace be with you and peace. And may the God of our life give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation. May the eyes of your understanding be enlightened that you might always take note of these things that enter into your heart so that we can keep our heart with all diligence. God bless you all.